All right, we are recording. Um, hopefully you guys can see me. I got really bright lights back there in the uh, windows, so it's kind of darkening our faces here a little bit, but hopefully we'll get through this. It can make it less scary for you. Yeah, it'd be less scary. They can see our face a little bit less, huh? <laughs> so, well, hopefully the diets are making it so you see less of our face anyways, but anyways. Um, so here it is. Saturday after Thanksgiving, uh, we made it through the holidays pretty much okay. Yeah. Um, a lot of cravings. Uh, I've been dying junk food, something awful. Um, but I was good. I haven't had any. Um, I think I said in one of my last videos that I was really dying for some burritos and that hasn't gone away, but I've been fighting it, so maybe the medication that uh, Dr. Beth has put me on is kind of helping for that. Um, as far as Thanksgiving, we did okay. Um, we went to my sister's house um, for Thanksgiving uh, with my uh, with her family and my mom and uh, my brother and his wife uh, came over. Uh, hi, Tammy, by the way. I know you like to watch the videos, so uh, even though you don't make comments down below but uh um, i know you're watching them so hi <laughs> um anyways we made it through thanksgiving okay um we uh say we stuck to the one plate rule um i brought my own vegetables with me so i had some asparagus and brussels sprouts done up with some uh, garlic and olive oil and uh just a little touch of hickory uh smoke um, for a little bit of a smoky barbecue flavor to it. So did that with the turkey. I thought it would be a good combination. And then I was right. It tasted really good. Um, nobody else. I brought enough for to share, but nobody else had some of that. Uh, except, for, uh, except for my brother Earl. Um, he gave that a try. So hopefully he liked it. He said he did. Um, as far as desserts, Joan didn't want to feel left out with everybody having their pies and cakes and everything else. So we made a... Um, uh, fruit and yogurt uh, parfait that had some jello and some sugar-free pudding and all that so um, So she had a little bit of dessert, so she didn't feel so left out um, I was good. We didn't really have any desserts to uh, speak of um, But I was okay with that. So um, dessert was never really um, Anything that I had a problem with although if there was a piece of chocolate cream uh, Pie there I might have had a piece of that uh, that would have been very tempting but thankfully there was nothing that was a major favorite of mine and Jones at the Linda's house so my sister's house so we were okay with that um, we also had a turkey cooked up here at my house yesterday on Black Friday um, we went ahead and cooked up that turkey but I did that so uh, it was just done with um some onion, uh, red onion, and some uh, Lipton soup mix uh, that I kind of put onto the turkey and did it all. Uh, there was no um, butter or anything like that, and then I went and cooked that in the oven. So that was a you did it partially upside down. Yeah, I uh, I, I actually cooked. It was a twenty pound turkey. We went and uh, cooked that um, in a roasting pan. Um, I did it for the first four hours on 325 upside down uh, so that the breasts were down. Um, that way all the juices and everything else flowed to that and actually kept it really nice and moist. Um, and then the last uh, half hour, 45 minutes, the last hour or so, I uh, went ahead and flipped the bird over so the breast was up so it was in the pan the right way. And um, I took the lid off. Turn the heat from 325 up to 350 and uh, finish cooking that off. Um, came out really moist, I thought. Yeah, um, moist as white meat I've ever yeah, had. Yeah, the white meat was really moist, uh, very flavorful. Um, I had the, uh, like I said, I had the red onions up inside the cavity since I didn't have any type of a stuffing or anything like that. And we also threw some uh, chopped up celery inside of there. I can't have the celery, but... I guess the flavor wasn't too bad, and uh, and I was tempted to throw some uh, carrot in with it too, but uh, Joan wanted to leave that out, so I left it out last second. So, um, but that came out really good. But uh, we did good, uh, really good, getting through those two days. Um, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy, um, but we managed to do it. 
Yeah. Um, one thought that I kept having was that in the, was it, seven, eight weeks now that we've been doing this, um, I'm down 40 pounds, and I don't want to ruin that. So um, we made sure that we stayed good. Um, plenty of food that I was able to put up some uh, frozen dinners for uh, Joan and that in the freezer. And um, I still got my turkey, and we got a ton of uh, salad left. Uh, I made salad and brought it to the Thanksgiving meal, so... Um, I don't think anybody but you and I were actually very thankful for the salad, so, um, but that worked out. It was good for us. Um, yesterday it was really quite enjoyable to have the salad. Uh, our friend Angela came over and, uh, she enjoyed that, she said. Um, so, well, I don't know. What else do you think? <laughs> How are you doing overall? I hate, I hate it, but I gotta do it. I just... You know, they're just like going through Thanksgiving, I was like miserable. And you know that. Mm -hmm. And I went, I behaved by the skin of my teeth. And I stuffed my nose in my uh, book because I just couldn't handle thinking about, you know, the food around me. Yeah. Um, I was kind of hoping that there was going to be a um, an OA meeting, an uh, Overeaters uh, Anonymous meeting uh, that I wanted to go, but I guess Dr. Beth told you last Tuesday on your appointment right. that uh, because of the holiday that there wasn't going to be a meeting today. But I kind of wanted to see how other people did uh, getting through it. Um, you know, like I said, it's an addiction. Um, it's it's hard. You know, we were went over to my... Uh, daughter's house afterwards and that's where i had the problem with yeah desserts. you know a, lo a lot of the different meals and the desserts that uh, joan grew up with um my daughter continues to keep up the traditions and she had a lot of that there you know uh she had dinner with uh her father and um um and everything else so they had a lot of the traditional favorites of uh the metivias uh over there so um so it was tough you know i went over there and they offered coffee and dessert and stuff to joan but joan turned it down like a good girl and, and she had her pie that yeah was my absolute all-time favorite was staring me in the face and i said no yeah but she was good you know um i could have tasted that and i would have been gone wild and Joan, Joan's hard on herself, but she's down 14 pounds now overall, I think. Yeah. Um, she keeps getting mad at me because how much more I'm losing. Um, but first of all, it's proven that I guess guys just lose more weight, and I have more weight to lose than Joan, so... And he's stricter than I am. Yeah. I'm just like, no sugar, no carbs, and, you know, try to be reasonable one plate rule, stuff like that, but... Um, and, you know, of course, in my diet, I'm still sticking to that, uh, the heart-healthy diet. Uh, I still hate to refer to it as the grapefruit diet, because it just sounds so faddish, but... Right. Just a heart healthy diet just sounds just so much better. Just because it's a fad diet doesn't mean it doesn't work and it's not a good diet. Yeah. Um, but I think it's really a good diet, you know. I think it works well. And, you know, I've got a friend of ours, uh, Lori Taylor, that uh, said she wanted to give that a try uh, before the Christmas season gets here. So, um, hopefully not if you watch. Yeah, no, not that she needs to. She, <laughs> she looks really well, so. Um, I wish I looked that fat. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I guess uh, she's going to give that a try and stuff. So it's actually a pretty decent diet. You just got to be careful with the, all the grapefruit that I have to eat with my meals. Uh, make sure that there's no interaction uh, with the uh, medications and stuff like that. But, yeah, but you did that. You, um, that. you know, I checked with my doctor and all that. So, you know. If you guys are going to try that uh, diet out, make sure you please check with your medications. Um, the grapefruit supposedly cleans out um, your colon and your liver and stuff so that the medications um, become more active, I guess, or become absorbed, better. Or absorbed better by the body. So it's almost like um, your medications become too strong for what you're doing. So you gotta be kind of be careful about that. You gotta check with your doctors. Um, I was doing some research online. I guess some doctor um, 
realize that uh, the interaction with grapefruit and stuff. And um, so there's a whole growing list of medications now that you're not supposed to be able to uh, take if you're doing uh, all the grapefruit like I am. Um, but I had my doctor's check and there was one medication that was interactive. Uh, but all they did was switch me to a different medication that uh, uh, was better coping with the uh, grapefruit. So um, I'm down 40 pounds. Jones down uh, the 14. We're still going good. It's been eight weeks. Um, people say that they see a difference in my face, but I still don't see it. However, I am down like what? Two pant size, three oh, pant yeah. sizes now. Pant so. Sizes. Um, so we'll just keep on going. Um, the proof is there that I'm losing the weight. Um, I'm happy. I'm, I'm eating okay. Um, we'll see what happens after we drop this first hundred pounds and I go on to my second leg because then I'll go into a diet that's a little bit less strict. And But you know what? I, I kind of like the grapefruit. I, I might just continue on with that. I don't know. Um, I was told not to sit there and have uh do this more than just that 100 pounds first so we'll see what happens i will have my doctor reevaluate and see what's going on um i guess that's it for now um i gotta go back and see my doctor next week um as far as my ankle's concerned um i'm getting better with the ankle um although it still hurts i'm still having trouble getting up and down a ladder or anything else and I need to be able to do that uh, before I can really go back to work. Uh, but uh, my TDI is running out. Um, I don't know if I can get on to long-term disabilities or what I can do. But I'm going to go see uh, my family doctor uh, in another week or two here. Another two weeks, I guess. And we'll decide whether I'm going back to work or if I'm going to continue being out. I'm supposed to have that other surgery in January, so... I don't know what's going to happen there, so. All right, well, we'll continue to vlog and weekly and see where we go. Uh, we got Christmas coming up, and we got the New Year's, which is another big snack night. So uh, we'll try to get through those two uh, holidays coming up. All right, God bless. Love you guys all. Thanks for watching the videos. Please, once again, um, subscribe down below. Or actually, I guess your subscribe is up this way. Um, and you've got your thumbs up or thumbs down and the comments and all that down below. So, um, if you guys could do that, that way I can see who's following me. Uh, getting a lot of hits online, uh, for these videos, but I just don't know who people are. So, uh, please go ahead and, uh, let me know that you guys are watching me. All right. God bless. Bye.